From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Thanks for joining us on this Christmas evening. I'm Shante Passmore. Here are some of our top headlines. The COVID relief bill has been flown down to President Trump in Florida, so he can sign it if he chooses to. Just days ago, he suggested he may veto the bipartisan legislation unless stimulus payments are increased. Yesterday, House Republicans rejected an attempt by Democrats to raise the payments from $600 to $2,000. And the FDA has identified a side effect of the Moderna vaccine. The advisory committee says people with cosmetic facial fillers could experience intense swelling and inflammation when getting the vaccine. Health experts say the reaction is easily treatable and should not keep anyone from getting it. Waterbury police are searching for answers after a teenager was shot and killed yesterday afternoon. Here's what we know right now. It happened on Pine Street near Driggs Elementary School. Police tell us the 16 year old victim was shot in the head. Three men believed to be connected to the shooting have been arrested. Lots of areas around the state are seeing this down power lines in some spots. This happened earlier today on Copper Mill Road in Weathersfield. Remember, if you see a down wire, stay away from it and steer clear. All right, in the wake of the storm system that brought damaging winds, gust over 70 miles an hour, as well as heavy rain, as much as almost four inches in some communities and flooding across portions of the state and also near record warmth. It's back to reality over the last weekend of the uh, of the year. Here's a look at future cast wind chill value Saturday morning down to the single digits and teens. That will be the case even through, say, midday up to near 20. And that's basically where we're going to hang out during the afternoon between 20 and 25 as temperatures top out between 30 and 35 inland mid 30s along the shoreline. So actually a little bit below average for this time of year, but at least we'll get to enjoy a partly to mostly sunny sky. That is also the case for Sunday. It's not going to be as windy, so we'll start the day even colder mid and upper teens by the afternoon top out between 35 and 40. Monday we'll see an increase in cloud cover. We're back in the 40s. Slight chance for a late day shower. Dry Tuesday, Wednesday. Some temperature fluctuations midweek and then we trend warmer and likely wet as we close out 2020 and ring in the new year.